everyone! So I am so excited to show you how to make this super cute baby panda charm or figurine. It is kind of like too big to be a charm but too little to be a figurine. I don't really know but this is so cute. I love, love, love this design. And yes, it is my own original design and I do know that there are already panda charm designs going around on YouTube but I wasn't very happy with how my own panda charms came out when I followed some of those tutorials. So I made a lot of improvements and modifications to them and this is what I came up with and so now without further ado we can now get started so today you will need your loom your hook one C clip and as many colored bands as you'd like however I recommend using two colors and I recommend using white plus one other color but you can use whatever colors that you would like and all my supplies today are from the rainbow loom web store so first off we are going to start with our looms arrows pointing down and we do use the staggered loom position for this or the offset loom position so you can make this on any loom and so first we're going to start off with white bands so um, we're going to be using double bands for this whole entire portion for now so first you're going to start and you're going to skip this top pin and go to the second pin here and use double white bands and go diagonally and double white bands again, diagonally the other way. And now we're basically going to make kind of a triple single pattern, but a very short version of it. So I'm still using double white bands for this. And we will be using double bands for all of this unless I switch and tell you otherwise. So if I don't specify and you're not sure, then you can trust that these are all double bands. So just going to continue on. And now at this point you're not going to put any more on these left and right pins here or pin bars. You're going to go ahead, use double bands and go in the middle only. So that way this uh, section is longer than the other two on the outside. And now you're going to use double white bands still and kind of close off this figure here. Like that. Push your bands down. And we have now finished um, part of uh, our baby panda's head. So go ahead and scoot your loom down. We're going to start on the body now. So for this next chain you're going to use double black bands. And again, still using double bands for everything and now we're just going to continue using double black bands and you're going to go outwards here and outwards here and then three lines of double black bands here like that so now we are going to go ahead and switch back to white bands. So use double white bands and you're going to make two rows of double white bands. So we are on our first row now. And here is our second row. Like that. So now your loom should look like this. And we are now going to continue on and put on some black bands down here on the bottom. So now I'm taking double black bands and I'm only going to put it on this left pin bar here. And on this right pin bar here. Like that. So now you're going to take a single black band and wrap around this bottom pin four times. So, one, two, three, and four. So I have four rings around this pin here. And now you're going to do the same thing to this pin right here. So wrap a single black band around this bottom pin here four times. One, two, three, and four. Like that. So these two here are going to be the little uh, baby panda's legs. Now we're going to go up to our loom to where the shoulders are kind of here. You're going to take double black bands here and you're going to put them going vertically here on above the left shoulder 
here, double black bands. Take double black bands again and put them above the right shoulder. So above on this right shoulder here. Now you're going to take one single black band and you're going to wrap it around four times around this pin here. So one, two, three, and four. And the same thing on this pin here. So single band here and one, two, three, and four. So now we have put two cat bands on these two pins here, which are on the top pin here above the little um, vertical bands that we put going over the shoulders. Now we're going to scoot our looms up. And for now we're going to put on the eyes that go on the panda. So you're going to take a single black band and wrap it around four times on this pin here that should be in the middle of your um, two bands here. So wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. Push your bands down. And we're going to do one more on this pin right here. So wrap this black band, one band, around this pin here. Four times. One, two, three, and four. Like that. And push your bands down. Now we are going to put on the ears of the panda at the top of our loom. You are going to take one single black band, put it on these two, except you are going to double loop it, also known as cat band it. So put it going vertically like that, but you want to pull on it and twist it so that way you layer it over itself, so that way you double loop that band. Take a single band again and do the same thing on these two pins here. So put it going vertically, twist it on top of itself so that way you have double looped this band. And I have some broken bands here. And so now we're going to go ahead add cap bands on here. So you're going to take a single black band and wrap it around this pin four times, the very top right pin. So one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do the same thing to this side here. You're going to take a single black band and wrap it around this top left pin four times. So one, two, three, and four. Like that. Now we're going to go ahead and add our bands that go horizontally. So you're going to take uh, first a single white band and you're going to start at the top of your loom again. Push your two um, black uh, cat bands down and you're going to take a single white band and put it going across these three pins here so that way you have a triangle here. Now you're going to take another white band and you're going to put it across these three pins so you have another triangle right here. Like that. Scoot your loom down. You're going to go ahead and take another white band, single white band and put it across these oops, these three pins here like that so you have this triangle here take another white band and you're going to put this band around the next three pins below that like that and lastly you're going to take a single white band but we're going to do something a little bit different instead of putting it across these three pins here you're going to go ahead and you're going to put it across onto this top pin but you're going to twist it around this top pin here and then over to this bottom right pin so that way it goes around an alternative way would be to put your single white band across these three pins here in a triangle take your hook take this bottom um, horizontal band here and put it over this pin here. So now we are going to start the hooking process and I am using this metal hook that will be available at the um, Rainbow Loom website starting on March 7th, 2014 or somewhere around that date depending on whether biz uh, business gets busy around that time. So now we're going to go ahead and do small hooking process steps. So what we're going to do is we have to hook some of the bands inside first. So 
first you're going to start in the middle of your loom and you're going to find this place where you have the panda's shoulders here. You should have two cap bands on one, one on each of these two pins here and those are the bands we are going to hook first. So first you're going to go ahead and take your hook and go into the right pin here. Go inside the cap band, make sure you go through all of these loops here and you're going to kind of circle around and grab the band here, the double bands. So what we're trying to grab are these bands that are right here, these two bands here. So stick your hook inside, kind of circle around and grab these bands here. Pull them off of the pin carefully and you're going to place them and hook them downwards, which is a bit of a, a more awkward hooking process because usually in Rainbow Loom we hook upwards, but for this one you're going to hook downwards onto this pin. You're going to do the same thing onto this side. Go inside of this cap band here, circle around, grab the double black bands, and pull it over the pin carefully because this part does add quite a bit of stress to your hook. And then you're going to set it on to this bottom pin here, like that. Push your bands down, and now we're going to scoot up to the head of our panda, and what we're going to do is we are going to go, um, and what we're going to do is take these cap bands here, the two black cap bands, and we're going to slide them over and onto this white band that goes horizontally, so we kind of cinch it in the middle here. These are the panda's eyes. So what you want to do is kind of separate the black cap band from the other bands, and you want to take your hook, don't go inside of the pin here. You want to go on the outside, especially on the outside of this white triangular band. Use your hook and grab the black um, loops that are on here. It's okay if you don't grab them all at once because you can always pick um, a couple at a time and pull them over, but you can grab them all at once and pull them over if you'd like. So, uh, first I'll show you how to grab um, some of them. So, if you want to grab them one at a time to reduce the stress on your hook, grab them on the pin here. Do not go inside of this white, um, white horizontal band. Just grab it pull it over the pin. Grab it here and just pull it over the pin like that. So now I'll show you how to grab all the bands at once on this left pin. So yes, you are going to do the same thing. You can choose whatever technique you'd like to use. So just separate the black bands from the other bands. Do not go inside of the white horizontal band. Go on the outside. Grab the black bands here. Make sure you grab all of them for this technique. Just pull them all over carefully like that. Now we have one last thing to do. We're going to scoot all the way up to the top of our loom and we are going to hook these two bands that are the ears. So first I'm going to start on the right. Go inside of this cap band you have here, circle around and grab this outside band and hook it over the pin. It's okay if your cap band falls off like mine is and you're going to stretch it and hook it over back onto this bottom pin. So now we're going to do the same thing on this left side here. Go inside this pin, inside the cap band, circle around, grab the double looped band, pull it over the pin carefully, and stretch it downwards onto this bottom pin here, like that. So now we are done hooking the little small steps in our panda, so we're going to scoot all the way down to the bottom of our loom, and we can now start the hooking process. So first you're going to take your hook and we are going to go inside the cap band here. Make sure you go inside all four layers. To grab the bottom two layers, they should be double black bands, and hook them upwards. And do the same thing on the right side. Inside all four cap band loops and grab the double bands and hook them upwards. So now we are going to go ahead and go inside all of the bands here. Make sure you go inside this white horizontal band. Stick your hook inside, grab the bottom two double white bands and hook upwards. And do the same thing on the right side. So go inside the white horizontal band, hook the bottom two double bands and put them upwards. Now on this pin, we are not going to go inside of the bands obviously because we don't have any bands to go inside of. So you're just going to grab all the bands that you see here on the pin and hook them upwards like that. Now you're going to continue on and do this sort of triple single like figure. So go in, make sure you always go inside the horizontal band. So always go inside this band here 
and hook upwards. And on the middle pins, it does not apply because you can't see the horizontal band. But hook upwards, go inside the horizontal band again, grab the bottom two, and hook upwards. Now we're going to do the same thing, just different colors of bands we're dealing with now. Hook upwards, and go inside the horizontal band and hook upwards again. So now we have these two bands that go kind of upwards in sort of like an upside down V shape. So what you're going to do is just go inside all of the bands here. Be careful that um, you're going inside all of them. Grab the very bottom two um, double bands here. They should be black. And you're going to pull them up and place them onto the middle pin. Push your bands down. And now we're going to go onto this very right pin here. Make sure you go inside all the bands and go to the very bottom and hook these two black double bands here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead hook this little neck piece here. Make sure you go inside all the bands here because there are quite a bit of bands. Grab the very bottom two, hook upwards like that. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab the top two white bands. Make sure you grab only the top two and these should go to the right. Now hook the next top two bands. These bands should be going to the left. And finally, the last two white bands on this pin should be going upwards. So now we have another triple single like figure. So you're going to hook, make sure you go inside of the horizontal white band, hook upwards, hook upwards, and upwards again. And do that one last time. Be careful not to let any of the bands slip off of your hook. Go inside this horizontal band and hook upwards here. So now lastly we have these two bands that go upwards in a V-shape. So you're just going to stick your hook inside the pin, go inside of this black band that is here. And grab this bottom white band here, double bands, and hook them over to this middle pin. Go inside of here, grab the bottom two white bands, and hook them to the middle. Push your bands down, and now to finish this off, we are going to go ahead and you can either take one or two white bands. For extra strength, I'm going to use two white bands here. And what we're going to do now is secure our design. So what you're going to do, take your double white bands and place them on this top pin here. Kind of stretch them inside here like that. So now what you want to do is you're going to stick your hook inside of the middle pin and grab these bands here. So I'm going to stick my hook inside and very carefully circle my hook around underneath and try to grab these bands. So stick my hook inside and kind of move my bands around so that way I can see where it's easiest for me to get those bands. And this is kind of hard to do on camera, so I might have to go off, but like that. So I have grabbed these white bands on my hook, as you can see here. So you're going to grab them and twist your hook around, so that way you can pull them, pull it through all of these pins, uh, bands here, like that. And basically, the object of doing that is just so that way we can get this one single chain going upwards that holds onto all of these bands here on our pin. So now at this point, if you are not here yet, go ahead and pause the video. If not, go ahead and take one C-clip here, and you're going to go ahead and slip it onto all these bands here, all the white bands, like that. And after making sure that all your bands are on the C-clip, go ahead and remove it carefully. And now we can remove everything off of our loom. So first I'm going to make sure that you guys have all the same things that I have on my loom. So I will carefully slide my loom downwards. And go ahead and pause the video at any time if you see something that doesn't look right or doesn't match up to your loom. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove everything from my loom and I will speed this part up.
So this is hot off the loom, and so what I'm going to do now is basically kind of pull and stretch and adjust it, um, so that way everything is even on my baby panda. So kind of make sure that all the cat band loops are even, and adjusting this can do a lot to uh, improve the look of your charm. Um, just simply stretching um, everything out to even everything um, does a lot and improves your design a lot. So, this is what I have now. And that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching this Panda Charm tutorial. Once again, it is my own original design. And yes, I do know that there are other Panda Charm designs out there in YouTube, but I decided um, that I wanted to make a cuter version because I wasn't too happy with how my other Panda Charms came out when I made them. So I made a lot of improvements and modifications to achieve this really cute baby panda look. So please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you created this figurine successfully and also if you'd like more videos. And also please subscribe for more videos. I have um, a bunch of other tutorials coming up that are waiting in line. I just currently don't have time to film and edit all of them, but they are coming, I promise. I do post at least one video every Tuesday and Friday. Usually I post two every Tuesday and Friday. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. My username is tutorials by A for all of them, I think. And I have links to all those in the description box below. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you guys later. Bye!